I want to talk about Kamala's earrings really quickly. Because at first I was like, well, maybe she just got some of similar looking earrings uh, when she first went to that debate with Trump. Maybe she just got some similar looking earrings. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody was talking about these earrings where you can basically hear people and they record and they go back and forth. And I said, no, she not that crazy. She wouldn't do that. Well, she apparently was on a hurricane briefing for Milton and she got caught up and people are pointing it out and I'm not aware of it, um, but it showed up on my algorithm. Y'all didn't even send me this one, but it showed up in my algorithm and I'm not necessarily aware of it, but I wanted to review it to find out what was really going on. So uh, this is uh, Sky News Australia to bring us up to date on what happened with Kamala Harris and what people are finally calling her out about, about this one. Kamala Harris made a bizarre gaffe during an FEMA Hurricane Milton emergency update broadcast which sent social media into a spin. The Vice President received a briefing from disaster relief authorities on preparations and weather forecasts for the hurricane. During the video briefing, Kamala Harris could be seen covering her mouth, appearing to relay a message to someone else through a microphone and earpiece. The VP mumbled, it's a live broadcast behind her hands. It flood, uh, our, we really got to watch those those areas and those communities. So it takes quite a while for that water. How was she? How was she communicating? Are y'all saying that it's her earrings? That her earrings are like an earpiece? Is that what y'all saying? Because I mean, it's obvious that she's covering her mouth. It's obvious that she's trying to act like she's, you know, doing like this. But she's not good at it, so it's like she's doing like this. And then she says it's a live broadcast. So do y'all think that she had... Let me see something. Give me a second. Let me rewind it. I want to see the whole thing first before I deep dive into it. We really got to watch those, those areas and those live communities. Broadcast. So... It takes quite a while for that water to drain. Thank you um, very much. She then immediately took her hands away from her mouth and asked a question. Hey, Ken, I have a question for you. You you mentioned words matter, and um, I know there is a lot of um, media following this this briefing. Commentators immediately blasted the VP, accusing her of being fed questions by aides through an earpiece. Commentator Charlie Kirk said, "Busted." Kamala is heard telling an aide who is feeding her questions that it's a live broadcast. She then asks the question she was presumably given. Why? Because she wasn't even paying attention to what he was saying. Let me ask y'all a question. This is, this is a simple fix. Why didn't she mute herself? So what that basically tells me is that she's not the one that's actually really even in the White House or running things. There are people behind the scenes that's basically telling her what to say, feeding her information. Okay, so how can we even trust? Are those the earrings? What are the earrings? Hey, look at her neck. Why didn't she just mute herself? Why does she do like this and say it's a live broadcast as though it wouldn't, like the microphone wouldn't even pick up what she's saying? When you realize what a fraud this woman is, you can't unsee it. And this commentator doubled down, saying, pathetic. Kamala Harris just forgot to mute her mic while telling the intern feeding her hurricane questions that it's a live broadcast. If you needed more proof Kamala is merely an incompetent puppet, here it is. The gaffe comes after Kamala Harris was slammed for politicizing the hurricane disaster and picking a fight with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis over his response to the crisis. Look, this whole um, riff on DeSantis Harris and him not taking a phone call, I mean, it's just so gross. I see that the man is, in, is, is, is right now in the middle of dealing with his second major hurricane in a week. The one that's hitting now, mm -hmm. they say is the biggest hurricane hit Florida in a hundred years. Sorry, uh, Kamala, he's, he's a little bit busy prepping for it like he said like he's like a she's like a spurned girlfriend like he won't take my phone calls i was turning my texts yeah he's got more important <laughs> things to do 
then deal with your craziness? I mean, leave the man alone? To call him selfish? Who's being selfish? You're politicizing this. You're making this about you. She can't help herself. You're the VP. You have absolutely no role when it comes to this. Those well, are the exact she, same earrings. Rather, are y'all saying that those earrings, I'm looking at them right now. I just pulled up the presidential debate. Are y'all saying that these earrings right here, that these earrings that she got on are earpieces? Why would y'all say that these are earpieces? Y'all saying that these are earpieces right here? Why do y'all think that these is earpieces? Where did you, where do you get them from? What's the name of them? Those are earpieces? These are Bluetooth earrings. Y'all saying that these are Bluetooth earrings right here? Oh. Y'all sure? Hmm. Are y'all sure about that? I said they made by Nova. Nova H1. All right. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if it's true or not. It just lo it looks crazy. Hmm. I don't know if it's true or not, but it just looked crazy. Anyways. Then bothering him, we start to prepare. Maybe she could focus on FEMA, which by the way has a tremendous amount of problems. First of all, uh, they're only FEMA could only make available right now for this hurricane nine percent of its staff for hurricane relief. When historically. 25% of staff is there because they're having massive staffing problems. 33% of all the jobs in FEMA are still unfilled when we're standing trillions and trillions of dollars. And then even more gross, this webinar came out. I don't know if you saw this. This webinar came out where they were actually mm -hmm. saying that FEMA was saying that we have to prioritize equity over absolutely helping the most amount of people possible. It's literally, this is when intersectionality actually becomes deadly, okay? Then a second webinar came out. They said, we got to prioritize LBGQIA plus minus sign ampersand. And that is how, look, it reminds me of that New Yorker cartoon that came out, my favorite cartoon that said, the world is ending, minorities disproportionately affected. That's where we are. We're actually living a New Yorker cartoon. Commentator Megyn Kelly doubled down on this, saying Kamala Harris has chosen to pick a fight with Ron DeSantis for political gain. She decides to pick a fight with Ron DeSantis because she thinks it makes her look good to fight with a prominent Republican, even though the man right now truly is trying to save lives. We, I don't remember the last time a Cat 5 hurricane was barreling toward the Gulf Coast of Florida. Those things are monsters. They're talking about storm surge like we've never seen that may have cities as large as Tampa, Florida 
underwater. The mayor of Tampa and there are some dozen towns around it said today, if you stay, you will die. Wow. Ron DeSantis is the governor of that state. He has a lot, a truly a lot to deal with. They're still recovering from Hurricane Helene, which devastated the same area two weeks ago. And she decides to get political with him and to pick a fight with him. Why? Because she's probably still ticked off about his abortion law and his ill-named, according to the Dems, don't say gay bill, which was not anything of the kind. So she thinks he's going to be fun to fight with without any appreciation for the distraction she's now causing for a man who truly has people's lives in his hands. Interesting. So, yeah, so I, I, she was called on a live mic um, during this, whatever this briefing or whatever this is, what Mayorkas and all of these people and FEMA and all of this stuff. And she was saying we're on a live interview or whatever, and she covered her mouth in order to say so, and then all of a sudden she started coming up with more questions. And so people are saying that she's busted, that she's this more proves that she's a fake, and she's not who y'all who y'all think she is, and she's being fed answers and questions from her aides, and she's basically a puppet that's being controlled. So I'm gonna let y'all determine that for for y'all selves. Um, I don't know how she's doing it. I don't know if she got fake earrings or not, but that's what the internet is saying. Uh, I'm just presenting the information. Y'all determine what y'all going to do with it. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on with the show.